What is art to you? Is it a form of expression, a means of communication, a canvas to represent your history, a picture to embody a moment, or a portrait to identify with? We hold the ability to create things and share it with others dear to our hearts, as it is what makes us human. However, what happens when art is taken away from us? Does it lose its cultural significance, or does it ignite a flame of cultural pride? How can art be so impactful? More specifically, how can one piece of art become so important to us? Um, without art, I don't think I would have much of a purpose in life. Uh, art is something that my life revolves around every single day. It's a way that I can express myself in a way that uh, people can get to know me and who I am better. Bathers with a Turtle by Henry Matisse is a significant piece of artwork that perpetuated the new movement of Fauvism and was considered one of the most monumental paintings that were appropriated during World War II. Who is Henry Matisse? Henry Matisse is considered one of the most influential painters of the 19th and 20th centuries. He was born on December 31st, 1869 in a small town of northern France. He died November 3rd, 1954. His love for art began when he was diagnosed with an appendicitis and confined to his bed for most of 1890. During his re recuperation, his mother gave him a box of paints to keep him occupied. This new hobby became a revelation. He started to travel the world looking and studying different artists. In the early 1900s, Matisse began experimenting with different techniques and art styles, straying from the traditional art of the 19th century. Matisse was heavily influenced by art from other cultures. Having seen exhibitions of Asian art and having traveled to North Africa, he incorporated some of the decorative qualities of Islamic art and the angularities of African sculptures and the flatness of Japanese prints into his own style. This new style became known as Fauvism, and he was renamed the King of the Fauves. By 1919, he was recognized internationally, exhibiting his work throughout Europe and in New York City. Let's get into this piece. You may be familiar with other works by Matisse, such as Dance, but Bathers with a Turtle, 1907-1908, was one of Matisse's more renowned pieces. Matisse's expressive medium revolves around color and composition. In this particular piece, the use of green and blue colors contribute to the emotional feeling of the vast space involved in the artwork, as well as aid in the sensations of a hot summer day. Matisse used pure colors and the white of canvas to create light-filled atmosphere in his fog paintings. The human figure was central to Matisse's work, both in sculpture and painting. Its importance for his fauvist work reflects his feelings that the subject has been neglected in Impressionism and continued to be important to him. How did the war affect this piece? When World War II initially began, Matisse was living in south southern France. He had the chance to flee, but he chose to stay. During the war, Nazi soldiers looted art and other significant artifacts throughout Western and Eastern Europe to incorporate in the Fuhrer Museum, also referred to as the Lens Art Gallery, to preserve the history of German art or Adolf Hitler. The looting program, headed by Hermann Göring, created the largest collection of art in the world, exceeding the collections of the Metropolitan in New York City, the British Museum in London, and the Louvre in Paris. Hitler was starting his own exhibit of Aryan-worthy art, and he stole or bought anything he thought belonged to German heritage. Nazis plundered the country and stole hundreds of millions of dollars worth of art. By the end of the war, the Nazis had stolen about one-fifth of what the Third Reich had called, considered most prized art in the world. Karls Ernst Osthaus founded the Folkwang Museum of Fine Art in the 1890s, which was first located in Hagen and later in Essen. This museum became very respected for its collection of German and European modern art. Osthaus collected many varieties of artwork, including many works by Matisse, for his museum. One of the pieces stolen was, in fact, Bathers with a Turtle by Henry Matisse. Osthaus bought Bathers with a Turtle for his collection in 1908, and it was the most monumental of all of them all, until it was confiscated by the Nazis. It was then sold to Joseph Pulitzer, a young American collector. 
at the auction of degenerate art in 1933. In 1964, Pulitzer gave it to the St. Louis Art Museum. It is still currently located in St. Louis Art Museum. Why is this piece important? This piece of art was renowned by many all over the world. It is considered one of the most monumental pieces of that was stolen during World War II. Today, Bathers with a Turtle is still viewed as a significant artifact in our society. The history of this piece demonstrates the measures that are taken to protect and preserve art. This particular piece by Matisse shaped the new era of art known as Fauvism. It ignited a newfound technique that, to portray humans and nature. Due to its displacement during World War II, it is highly regarded as one of the most infamous works and will continue to grace the world of art. We as humans should care about art. It represents who we are as a society and contributes to our cultural background. Art is powerful. Art is how we connect with people from all over the world. Art is what makes us human.